Hi, welcome back. Today I'm looking at a free program called FreeMind. It's a mind mapping program. I've shown you XMind, which is also free, which is a great mind mapping bit of software. Now I'm showing you a second one to give you choices. Now again, this is totally free. I'll leave a link where you can download it from. It enables you to plan, organise essays, or even do your research with. It is kind of limited in the sense that you can't export to certain formats such as Word. But apart from that, it's pretty good. Again, you don't get all the bells and whistles that you do in other programs, mind mapping that you pay for, but it can still help you with your research and work. So what I've done, I've downloaded this 15-20 minutes ago. I've had a quick look at the interface because I want to show you it in real time. So I've not studied this program or spent hours on it. So I'm going to open it up, play around with it. So I'll get a few. I'll do a few mistakes, but then it shows you in real time how easy it's to pick up the software. Let's have a little go. So I'm going to open up FreeMind now. And you see in the middle we've got our first node which is our symbol there that says new mind map. Now I'm going up to the top here and these are your main settings file, edit, view, insert and formatting. Now a lot of these settings you can assess anyway by right clicking on a node or symbol whichever you prefer to call it. Now don't click into it first and then do a right click because all you're going to be left with is two options. But since I've done that I'm going to show you the spelling option so there's a spelling mistake you can change it there. Also on the right click, select your languages, instance I'm using English. Now, if you want to change the settings to the node or symbol, do a right click on it without selecting it first. So hover over it, gives you a lot of the settings you've got at the top. So I'm going to change that node how it looks. So if I go down the list, then I'm going to need the format option. Then I've got a subsection here that I can scroll along to. And what would I like to change? Node background colour, sounds good. Left click that and then I can choose a colour there. Also you can change the various blends of colours. Have a little look at that. So I'm going to make this green because I'm going to do a bit of research I think on global warming. So if I click on it, it's now green. Tap in there. I'm going to call this... So I'm going to create a map for global warming and of course we're going to do research on that and various links. If you right click on any word, it will give you a spelling option there as well. So I'm just going to lowercase that anyway, for now, and right click on globe, and we'll tap off that. There's our main title. So now click back on that, you need to create your first node. Now if you come up to insert the top, it shows you how you can do that by clicking new sibling node, enter, or sub nodes insert. It's probably worth you learning just a couple of those shortcuts quickly. Insert and enter for now. I'll come back down. So if I hover over, remember don't click in it and click the enter key. It creates my first node. So I'm just going to call this research online. And tap off. While I'm doing that again, I'm going to right click. Because I like to format as I'm going along. So it helps me identify my map and my ideas as I create them. I want to go straight down to format again and I'm going to go up to options here. So I've got blend and node colour. So I've got node background colour but I'm going to change the node colour here to red and click OK. And there you go, you can see it's now red. So that makes that stand out a little better. Now I'm going to hover over research online and create another sub branch or node. Do you remember? It's the insert key. So if I click the insert key and there's my sub branch. I need to do a bit of research on global warming so I'm just going to put I'm just going to put global warming website and I'm going to tap off that. So I need to go online, so I'm going to open up Google and I'm going to type in global warming as if I'm doing a bit of research and find a site that I could use. There we go, global warming national geographic. Select your link and then highlight the top right click and copy or control C. Open up your map. Now I just don't want to paste that into there, it gets a bit messy if you start pasting URLs everywhere. So I want you just to hover over and right click. So this time I'm not formatting, I'm going to insert. So I'm going to insert a text field. Left click and I'm now going to control V or right click and paste that into there. Now, word of warning, if I click OK and add double tap on it, it doesn't work. And I'll show you why. Right click it, 
and select remove node and click yes to delete it what I want you to do is create a branch again remember insert key so hover over and again we'll just call that global warming and tap off I want you to save the file first so go to file and select save and choose where you want to save it to I should save it to the desktop with the default name of global warming now you've got to save the file first before you can right click and start adding your links now I can go to insert and select text field I'm going to control V paste my link in and click OK see the little arrow now if I double tap that it brings that website straight up so make sure you save the file before you actually do that and there you go there's your link and I'm going to close go back to your free mind so that's one but I'm going to right click that again and I'm also going to go to insert and I'm also going to open up text field again there so if you need to change it you can put it in there or you can just delete it and click in the X to get rid of it and again you can also remove the node there if you need to if you select edit attributes you can add various attributes and information to that node as well so click back and research online remember shortcut key insert create a little branch off there this time I'm going to do a file so let's say I've got a word document done an S let's say I've got a word document some information or even a PDF if you want on global warming so with that highlight man don't click it just right click insert and this time I'm going to select hyperlink file chooser and I'm going to link I'm just going to link the echo smart pen for an example and click open now you see it creates little red arrows so if I click on them it then opens up that link and there you go see what a powerful bit of software it is to link all your research see how I'm building from research again I'll put that on research online obviously word document won't be so what I could do with if you click that little button there that will minimize it but if you hold the left button and drag it you can drag it off there and now I've got word document but I've got research online global warming and I've got document but I'm gonna create another little insert button another little node off there and I'm gonna call this documents I've got my documents and my word document in the wrong place if I hold documents and drag it back to here and then I can drag word document onto documents and there we go and I've got research on my global warming and my documents again I might want to change the color right click format and I can choose node background color which again I'm going to leave red tap off and when you tap off it you get a background color there as well you see how that works so research going okay I suppose I've got global warming I've got my research online let's add another research online right click insert and again choose text field and you can see how you can keep working off that if need be now that's good so far I'm going to hold the left button I'm going to drag that round to there so they're together on the right so you just drag and drop but I'm going to hover over global warming and I'm going to create another little branch by clicking the enter key main one off there how about if I want to add some images on there for example let's give that a go so I'm just going to put images global warming I mean you can even add your references in here and lists if you want I'll show you a note in a minute so I need to add some images to that now I could break it down by hovering over and clicking insert and then putting the individual ones there so I'll just put I'm going to have a look at Google Images in a minute, see if there's anything in there. There will be, of course, for global warming. Click off that. I'm just going to make this red again by right clicking, Format, and I'm going to select the no background colour and click OK. So if I tap off that, you'll see it's red. So I want to add a picture to my map for my research. So let's pop open Google. And I'm going to go to Google Images and let's have a look at Google Images and let's see what we got. That looks quite dramatic, so I'm going to right click that, save image, 
and I'm going to save it to the desktop. Obviously if you are doing research make sure you rename stuff which starts getting a bit messy. So I'm just going to call that global. Now I want to put that in my Google Images option here. So I want you to right click, insert, and see at the top here we've got image. Select that and I need to find that image, it's called global and there it is. That easy to do. Now I've got a bit of a word of warning here because you can't just drag and drop and minimize the size of that. Now if you if you get the left mouse button, so I want you to go on the picture, just tap once, drag it down, and you see it gives you an HTML code. But don't worry too much about the code. All we need to do is change the size of that because the only way to edit the size of it is to change the code. So all we've got to do is we've got image source equals open quote global dot jpeg close quote forward slash. Now at the end of here I want you to add a certain code. So control V that in and it's height equals open quote size width size. So if I click OK you can see how it's changed the size. Open it up again by tapping it. I should make that size a bit bigger. So I should do 100 and click OK. And there you go. I'm happy with that. Good so far. So I'm going to click on the main idea in the middle again and do a right click. Edit attributes again. Also, a right click, you can edit long node as well. Now I'm going to click layout view. You see, I'm in HTM code view. So layout view here, and I can change the settings for that node. Again, you want to make maybe change the size and your font if need be, and your formatting options are also there if you want a bullet list. And click OK. So if I click on another one, you can see it come up. Also, if you right click, you've got loads of icons. Now these icons are on the left of the screen as well. It's just easy to assess. You can remove all icons from that node if you like. And again, you can add loads by going to sub ones. So for example, I've got document, and I'd say that's probably high priority three there. So right click and then select icons and choose your options there. Also, we can export, I'll show you that later, and we can format, which I showed you as well. Now on the branches, you can minimize them, so if you've got a big map going, you want to simplify it, just select that option with a left click, and then you can minimize your map how it's looking. So I'm going to right click Global Warming Research, go to Format, and I'm going to try, I've got Fork or Bubble. I'm going to try the Bubble option. And there you see, I've now got a Bubble option. Right click, Format, I'm going to Format, and I want to select the the more fork option and you see by the links now what happens if you want to join two nodes or two symbols because they're relevant or you need to remember easier to do so we need to select the two we want to connect so I want to connect global warming to my image there so I'm going to hold control and highlight that's in and both grey and now both highlighted so I can right click on any of them now go to insert and I want to choose and select add graphical link now if I hold the left button you should be able to see the link now that's there and if I actually right click that link it gives me more options I could add link colour which I'm going to do because that's great it doesn't stand out too well so I'll make that a pinky red also on the right click I can change the direction it could be both directions that I want the idea to be also you can see I can go to global warming or images by clicking on it so it jumps straight to where I've gone by right clicking as well because they're the two I've connected. And so, so you're into connecting ideas and trying to get them all together. Fabulous way of doing it. So you can see how this works with your research. Now something I'm showing you quickly really important here is that you might want to add notes into each option again. So at the moment you're probably looking well where's the notes, how do I add my notes? I'm going to click on word document, do a right click anywhere and select note and now I can add my information on there I'm just going to put I'll just put information on global warming and don't forget the top here you've got your formatting options there again that you can use so now if I click off word document and go to another node you can see the notes now attached and as I've gone to images global warming again I can pop another note in there it could be relevant to the actual picture or you might put your own information in there
and again right click on a word which spelled it wrong but in this case I've just put two words together so let's do a space there and again if I click onto another note you can see it's now attached there if you hover over it it then pops up now that's just a quick methodology to show you how to use it have a play around with it go to the top quickly and go to view if you haven't got your secondary toolbar, that's a toolbar on the left of your icons, it's because that's not selected in view. So make sure that's been selected there. Also view, you've also got your note window. So control shift plus less and that will bring up your note window as you can see there or make it disappear. So if you're wondering where your note window is when you add them to a branch, do with right click or choose that option at the top. Insert we looked at some of the options there and there's all your formatting options we did with right click there's a few more options here for navigating for example move to root and it moves straight to root or you actually click on a node and use the arrows use the cursors you can move along each option as well quickly by using them if required so that's your navigation option you've got your tools and of course your maps so here we've got your basic options, so we'll have new, open, save and save as. I always do save as so you know where you're saving your map to. Print, cut, copy and then your basic options there which are straightforward. New child node, so we can add it that way as well, so it's popped it in there. Remember if you don't want it, hover over and remove node. Or just press the delete button, whatever's easier. We have bold and cloud. So if you see if I click the cloud option, it's put a cloud around it which will make that stand out. So what I'm going to do quickly, undo that, let's select research online and I will select a cloud and you can see it covers the whole section there. So now if I right click those options I might want to add a note window for that as well if need be. Or close it. But if you still actually right click on the actual nodes you can still change the settings on them. This is for filtering so for example I could click on global warming and you can select current selected nodes and it gets rid of everything so you can work off the main one or you can have no filtering so you can choose what you want to filter and as you can see I'm just not even looked at these options yet I'm just going through them and they're quite pretty straightforward zoom in and out and your fonts you want as default and font size as so the last thing I'll do this quickly is right click and look at the export options so we can import branch links favorites folder structures I'm going to export this I've not even looked at this yet I'm going to export this as open office writer document save it to my desktop leave it as global warming there we go so I actually take that back because I told you earlier we couldn't export to word and we just have so again you can see what a powerful option this is one of the best options on a research option for links that would be better just to create your research but if you're just planning an essay remember each branch or node you create will be your first paragraph so this will be in paragraph 1 paragraph 2 and you've got your information and you're actually structuring all your work easy to highlight the whole lot and then change to your various fonts you need and font size and line spacing I'll even go to referencing and start popping in insert your citations where you need them fabulous so I'm going to close that window so that's just a quick option I've not gone right into it as I said I've only had a quick look at it 10 minutes so I've gone around it and I like what I see it's totally free so you can't go too wrong with that it doesn't give you options like replacing the symbols you'd get with mind view or inspiration or anything like that you can add pictures and that but if you want to do research and basic essay structuring or just getting your ideas down I think this would be fabulous for absolutely nothing look at my learning made easy website I've got a link in there for free software and it's all totally free it's none of it's torrent rubbish or anything like that this is proper free software that you can use so have a little look on that thanks for watching